Hello, I'm Spike Jenkins, General Director of Seattle Opera, and I'm lucky to be here with all four Bohemians. Rather, they don't look particularly Bohemian, but they, that's who they are. <laughs> Michael Fabiano is our Rodolfo. Keith Ferris is is Marcello. Uh, the youngest of them all, uh, <laughs> Arthur, Arthur Woodley, is the Colina, and Andrew Garland is the Schonard. And uh, Keith, you know, Marcello has such a big role to play uh, all the way through, not only with Musetta, but but the, some connection to Mimi too. Would you talk about that a little bit? Marcello. Uh from what I'm seeing, seems to act as Rodolfo's conscience in a lot of situations. In Act 3, for instance, when Rodolfo comes back, he's like, you, you, you're being crazy. You're being the same way you always are. You're being jealous. You're being, uh, you're, you're, you're being a bore. And you have to realize that this, this woman really cares about you. Um, you know, it's, you know, for all the bravado and swagger that Marcello has in Act 2, for instance, I really think he's... Um, he actually has a really healthy sense of where he is and what his relationships are, and he's just unfortunately madly in love with a woman who has other aspirations. Rodolfo has Mimi, and, and you have Mar you have Musetta, and but the other two guys are they're not there. There are no girlfriends with them. I don't think there's room for us to have for you no, know in a two-hour opera. I mean, uh, Schonard does have a nice girlfriend in the Murger story. Mm -hmm. uh, Coline is not so. Not as fortunate. I think uh, he's probably been burned earlier in his life. I think, you know, th that's what happens. And he's decided that the most important thing in his life is to have the books. In fact, he says, he says, you know, I can see, I'm not blind. I can see she's beautiful and everything else, but I'd rather stick with my books. Let's talk a little bit about the, in, in the Bohems you've done, the camaraderie that comes out. The fact is we all live in abject poverty. And when you live in abject poverty, you find things to have fun in order to cover up that poverty. Mm -hmm. And the more, the more fun that we have, the more joy, it makes it so much more difficult and palpable at the end when Mimi dies. Mm -hmm. And there are those who feel that the whole place is going to break up after she dies. They have now experienced death right in their midst. So I think it'll, it will change each and every one of the characters on stage. My favorite pa place in it is something that, that you do, is the Interribile Tosse, the, the whole business of telling Marcello about how sick Mimi is. I think that's yeah. some of the most amazing music anybody ever composed. It's my favorite scene in the opera too, sure. You've worked with Carlo Montanaro before I've conducted. I'm very happy he's conducting this poem. Me too. And Tomar Zulun, uh, the director has done some wonderful work uh, mm. here with us. Mm. He's a wonderful director. Yeah, I think you'll find his, his interpretation very interesting in, in this poem, what he's, what he's going to work on it. Now, you've sung with your Mimi, too. Mm. Jenna, I haven't sung in a live performance with her. We were apprentices together. Elizabeth yeah. Caballero was here first uh, as uh, Susanna in, in Marriage Figaro. Figaro. And yes. you, were, you sang with her. I did, yeah. I did. So this will be a, a, a reunion again. We should mention also, of course, that there is another tenor here, too, Francesco De Muro. I know that this gentleman here is a great baseball fan of the Boston hey, Red Sox. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. For better or for worse. Oh, dear. I was going to wear my this... Yankees cap today. <laughs> no, no. You know you will not yes, wear that I in will. my presence. Yes, I will. Very proudly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble oh, now. This is, I mean, I mean, this this is, is really got to This is going to real, yeah. real camaraderie here. I knew we're I'd gonna... find something for that. La Boheme will be given 10 performances, which is more than we've done with anything in quite some time. Because of the popularity of the opera and the outstanding cast and everything about it, we felt we could do that. And it's wonderful to have all of you here, and I know you're going to have fun doing it, and I think it'll be fun to start out and do another Boheme. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.